Hello friends, are you also getting AC noises or background noises just like you are getting in this video of mine? Do you want to see or do you want to change this noisy uh, voice like you can hear the noise? Let me be silent for a minute. Now you are listening to this noise. So do you want to change this to this without any noise? You can see, uh, listen now. There is no background noise, no AC noise. It's just my voice. So keep watching this video. I'll tell you. I'm Asravi Kumar, Certified Solution Architect and IT Career Coach. So nowadays, most of the people are working from home. And the problem which we face is like not everybody has a noise cancelling room or soundproof room so that you don't get any background voices, whether it is dogs barking or the neighbor's cat uh, making sounds or even the AC noise just like I have in my room because India is a hot country. Uh, a few days back, uh, my friend created a video where he has fan noise in his video. So it, it, those kind of noises are very annoying, especially in videos and also in regular con calls or uh, regular voice calls also. I have seen this uh, during my office hours also that one person who was taking call from his uh, substandard earphones of phone, uh, his voice was so distorted that client was not able to understand what he's trying to say. So I have a cheap and best solution for this one. The software is called crisp.ai. So I'll give the link of the software in the description and let me show you how we can install that software and use this software to remove noise, uh, background noise from our mobile app or desktop app. Right now I'll be showing it on the desktop application, uh, the desktop application on Windows as well as Mac, but you can do it on your mobile also. So let's move to installing. So as you can see, now I'm on the crisp.ai website. So on this website, they have these options to download the get crisp for free and they have pricing and all the other details. I'll tell you about the pricing later on. So let's download it first. So when we click on the, this link, we'll get this option, download desktop app or download Chrome extension. So Chrome, uh, we can have both of them and you can see this is showing download Windows desktop app. Uh, you can use Mac also. Right now for recording this video, I'm using the Mac app. So I'll click on the download one and it's downloading. So once the download is complete, you have to double click on this. It will start installing crisp. So you'll click next, click on install. So now crisp is installed on my machine. I click on finish. So once crisp is installed, its icon will appear on the Windows taskbar in the right hand corner like this and when you click on this it will give you an option to sign in or sign up so and the option to test noise cancellation so let me click on sign in or sign up so when I click on sign in or sign up it will open the default browser and it will open crisp account it will ask you to how you want to sign in so let me sign in using my Google account I'm using a different Google account. So once I signed in, it will show you are signed in and here it will show good job. You are signed in with this thing. When I click on start setup, it will give me option to start setup. So when I click on start setup, uh, it will give me an option to choose an app. So you can choose any app listed here. Uh, by default, this crisp will appear as a mic in other applications also. So you can let me just choose Zoom. So when I click on finish, so I'm done. So right now, since I don't have any mic here, so that's why it's not showing any mic listed here. Uh, and as I said that I'm using the window, uh, the Mac machine for doing this recording and everything. So let's go to my Mac machine and I'll show you how it is being used in my Mac machine. So now I'm on my Mac machine. As you can see here on the top of my menu bar, it's showing this crisp option here. So, and you can see this Yeti mic is shown here and uh, this variation or this graph shows that I'm speaking and you might be seeing there is no background noise. So if I disable this remove noise option, now you can hear the background AC noise and if anything happens in the background, you will be able to listen to that. So I'll enable this once again. 
So here, if you see, this is the time showing 58 minutes, 40, uh, 46 seconds, and this second is going on uh, down slowly. So basically what happens that I'm using the free version of this crisp uh, AI software. So in the free account, not the free version, rather free account. So in free account, they allow you 120 minutes per week of noise cancellation. And if you use the, if you want to use it for unlimited, you will have to go for the paid accounts. So let's visit their site and I'll tell you the price, uh, like I'll show you the pricing option. You can see yourself the features and the pricing options. So here I'm on the crisp.ai website again. Uh, now it, I'm here on my Mac Chrome. So if I click on here, uh, get crisp for free, it will give me the option for download Mac app. Okay. I won't be downloaded because I already have downloaded this thing. So, but uh, just wanted to show that they have this feature on their website that they automatically detect which OS you are using and they give you the option to download that version. So let's go to the pricing. So these are the pricing options. So if you see for free, there is 120 minutes per week and for pro version, which is $3.33 per month. Uh, it is like unlimited and it supports three devices and all those things. Let me show you how Chris Mike appears in the application. So uh, right now I'm in Skype settings window on my Mac. Uh, similarly, you can go on Windows machine also. And when I click on this audio video setting, when I click on this by default, my uh, Mac uh, FaceTime camera on. So you can see my face. So we'll go down here and here at the bottom right now, this Yeti mic is coming up. So I can click here and I can select this crisp microphone. So when I click on crisp microphone, the next call which I'll be doing, it will be going via crisp microphone. Similarly, as you can see in the Teams also, you have this option to select crisp microphone. And when I select this crisp microphone, all the calls will be done via the crisp microphone. I don't have Zoom installed on my machine. Uh, otherwise, I could have shown you there also. But you might have got the gist that Crisp will appear as a separate microphone in all your applications wherever microphone and uh, speakers are being used. So this was how you can convert your simple mic, whether it's desktop mic or your earphone mics into a noise cancelling mic. I hope you like this video and you will be using Crisp just as I'm using to make your mics as a noise cancelling mics. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. I'll be coming up with more such videos uh, on tools, tips and tricks uh, related to programming and general uh, life hacks also, uh, especially related to IT world. Until next video, take care. Bye-bye.